Hey there, it is Sunday, February 4th, and you know how much I love rain, but we have had so much rain for weeks and days, and it rained all morning this morning, and I got a little stir crazy. So I decided to plant some garlic bulbils <laughs> in DE, diatomaceous earth, and a lot of people have asked me about DE, and so take a look. So I decided I just couldn't bear not planting some seeds. And I hope I'm not too late, but I'm going to plant some garlic seeds in DE, diatomaceous earth. I've talked about this a lot, and a lot of people have questions about it, so I thought I would just show you the process. What I am planting are these garlic bulbils, which are not really seeds. They're from the dried heads of some hardneck garlic I grew last year that was gifted to me. And they are actually immature bulbs. And it actually takes two seasons for these to develop into full heads of garlic. But I'm going to plant these in DE. So you can get these little food containers at the grocery store. Sometimes they come in little lunch things, but I just poke holes in the bottom so that the water runs out. And I take my DE, I take a scoop of DE in a strainer like this and wet it because it's very dusty. This is just uh, prehistoric rock that's been crushed. and. And it works great in a strainer and then I just fill up and the beauty of DE is you don't have to use anything but water until you get your first set of true leaves and then you add something like fish emulsion or some some uh, liquid plant food to your water and the roots don't cling to these little rocks, so it makes it really easy to lift your plants out of the DE and pot them up into potting soil. Okay, that looks good. Now I'm going to do two of these. I need to get some more DE. This is the DE I buy. With the blue and the yellow letters on the white. And it needs to say 100% diatomaceous earth. This is what it looks like. They do sell a finer grind, but I think it has red letters on the back. And this is made by Absorbent. I think we need about that much. I don't know if you're like me, but you're always trying to figure out how to fasten these bags back after you open them. I always keep, this is just my silly little tip, I always tear the top just almost all the way, keep it attached to this and then it makes it very easy to just wrap it. I used to always have a piece of wire or rope or something and twine and, oh, what a pain. This is so much easier. Okay, here we go. And it's raining again, I gotta get inside. Now I buy DE at AutoZone, and that's in the US. I have no idea where to get it outside the US. But AutoZone is a big chain of car repair stores. The price is very reasonable. It's around eight or nine dollars for 25 pounds. So the great thing about it is, you know, you've always got some in a bag out there and you don't always have seed starting potting soil medium. So I always rinse this because there's a lot of 
it's clay and there's a lot of powder dust. You can see it coming into the sink there. Okay, so this has nice holes in the bottom. I just like to reuse things when I can, and somehow we wound up with a few of these containers from the grocery store, and I thought they would make great seed starting trays. Small. If you're just doing a few things, not seeding a whole bunch of plants, you're in an apartment, you just want to do two or three little peppers and tomatoes, <laughs> these work great. You just got to remember to punch the holes in the bottom. And the thing about DE, the reason the company's called absorbent is DE absorbs and holds water. You know, as long as it's dark gray, there's water in there for your seeds. When it turns white, then you have to water. What I like to do is just create a hole to drop the seed in. some kind to keep the water from dripping on your counter. Okay. I'm just going to leave these right in the windowsill and there's kind of a constant temperature of 68 degrees in the house and there's light and I'm hoping that they sprout. <laughs> you know I love to give shout outs to my fans and someone wrote me late last night and I just wanted to share this with you. Uh, her name is Miranda Owens, and she said, my husband and I found you on YouTube this morning. We sat, drank coffee, ate the bread I baked yesterday, and watched two hours of your videos. That sounds like my friend Ranka in Northern Germany. <laughs> and now he wants to start a garden. Is that awesome? And they're also located in SoCal and they're asking me where to get some loofah seeds because you know I have that great video on loofah, how to grow loofah. They also thought that loofah came from the ocean just like I did before I started growing it. So I am happy to send seeds to anyone who sits down and watches two hours of my videos and lets me know about it. So I wanted to remind you of my live stream. My next one is on February 17th at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. And I hope you can tune in and join the conversation because I found that a lot of people are communicating with one another and it's not just me disseminating information. So I hope you can be part of that. That's three days after my birthday um, and which is on Valentine's Day, and I would love to have you tune in and wish me a happy birthday. Also, I wanted to just mention that a great video from one of my favorite channels, in fact, I featured him in one of my older videos, Suburban Homestead. Silloway at Suburban Homestead has a great video on the little garlic Bubils, bubils <laughs> that I planted this morning. So please check that out and I'll put the link right above. So thank you so much for watching this channel and liking my videos, sharing them with your friends, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. If you enjoyed this video, please watch these. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. 
and I'll see you in the next video.